when I first arrived in the UK, I felt really curious because everything was new. And actually, I love this country because people here are really, really nice, warm, and helpful. And so I, re I really, I was really excited when I first came to came to the UK. As an international student um, coming to the UK, and especially when you're from a non-English speaking part of the world, um, you might constantly feel inadequate when it comes to your language skill. But uh, from take it from me as someone who's been here, um, who has been involved uh, very closely with the academic environment here in the UK, this is a society, um, especially when this is a uh, a society that welcomes diversity. So even if you are from a non-English speaking or you know a, a non-anglophone part of the world, and English is not your mother tongue, when you're giving a presence a presentation or when your voices are heard in the classroom, keep this in the back of your mind that just because you're different, um, it your your the difference of your identity. Uh, makes you just makes your opinions just that much more valuable. People would appreciate so much that you have something different to bring to the table. Getting exercise regularly is very important. Um, I play bas basketball, and uh, regular exercise is not only good for your health but also help you release your stress. Especially, students have a lot of stress. I think it's really, really very important to achieve the balance between study and re relaxation because if you feel anxious every day, you cannot concentrate on your study and then uh, you will affect your mood and your motivation and uh, you, I, I mean you will lose your motivation and it's very difficult to catch up with others. So, I mean, uh, the balance between study and the relaxation is really, really important.